Logan. Now that you've crawled through the darkness, do you finally see the light? Good to see you again, Mick. Sometimes I'm Mick, but other times I'm just known as mankind. Hey. <laughs> and after what you've just gone through, I'm guessing you'd like someone around who knows a little something about what you've experienced. Doesn't seem like there's too many of us, that's for sure. You were taking souls, but what mankind would take was punishment. I lived for it. The more abuse there was, the stronger I became. How much could you take, Cap? I could take all of it. Then you need to test your limits in the match that made mankind legendary. Hell in a cell. And I've got just the opponent and a little bit of my pixie dust to make it feel extra special. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's go to that's hell. That's exactly what I need to put this all behind me. Let's go to hell. Evil is pain. The following contest is a hell in a cell match. Making her way to the ring from New York, the Superstar! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Okay, who... Um... China. And from Redondo Beach, California, the ninth wonder of the world, China. This in a cell, the most nefarious, unforgiving structure in WWE. Try to take out and China and have a nice day. Forever, your supernatural powers may have been otherworldly, but let's take it down to earth as we find out how you'd fare against the ninth wonder of the world. And if you really want to pay tribute to my pal, mankind. You'll know sometimes a fall can push you even higher. Ooh. Have a nice day. Yep. Oh. No. Oh, the red saddle. Nice elbow. Oh. Oh. 
probably won't get it. No. Too early there. Oh. Well, I wanted to go out. Trying to. I will strip her to the outside there. Oh. Probably not yet. Oh, it's a kick out. I tried to do some cell moves on that move on her, but... Okay, here we go. So was that, um... Okay. Is that it for... So yeah, here what are you we go. At? I'm looking at you, Rhea. Is there a problem? You tell me. What do you want? I want you to show me how to harness brutality in the ring. You? <laughs> you don't understand what you're talking about. I had some pretty wild matches before coming to WWE. I know more about it than you think. Brutality is about more than just being powerful and fierce in the ring. It's making people fear you and what you're doing next. It's being unexpected. It's bringing the chaos without restraint. That. I want to do that. I want you to show me how to harness brutality. What, do I have a sign that says free lessons or something? I can't help you. You can help yourself though, provided you're not too weak. I'm certainly not too weak. Then cause some chaos and do it somewhere unexpected. Hmm. Maybe a different brand then. Sure. Show up unannounced and decimate some opponents just for the hell of it. That's a pretty solid calling card. But I'm not going to hold your hand. Who are you going to actually take out? Lyle Lee and Hartwell. Hmm. Chelsea Green and Selena. Hmm. Chelsea Green and I don't say Chelsea Green. Feeling and like Selena. Chelsea Green and Zelina Vega could use some chaos. Just don't play nice when you get there. Kind of defeats the purpose. This is my. This is why brutality. Oh. Guys, here comes the hot mess. Uh, emphasis on mess. Bite your tongue, Saxton. Chelsea Green won many major titles from independent promotions, but now is one of the top names in WWE. Uh, and Michael, she's pretty much annoyed every general manager she's ever encountered along the way, too.
Chelsea's ready to make a hot mess out of the competition tonight. The consummate underdog of the women's division, Zelina Vega. Zelina, one of the smallest competitors with the biggest heart. Yeah, now Zelina is sitting under the learning tree of Rey Mysterio and the rest of the LWO. Zelina really has a chance to break out even further. Zelina looking to make the LWO and her family proud tonight. She loves the reaction she receives from the WWE Universe, and I think she's going to take that energy into the match, too. Okay, here we Wait, go. What is she doing out here? I hate to say it, but this is a flagrant disregard for the rules. Cap is being a real jerk here, inserting herself into this match. <gasps> a jerk? Oh my, Saxton, you must be upset. Get off the fainting couch and get with Cap. This is great. The captain decided to insert herself into this match, but the WWE Universe is excited to see her. It certainly makes the match more interesting. Well, this move is somewhat unexpected from the cap. We'll have to see if it's a one-time thing or a sign of a new attitude. Russian leg sweep. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Once she gets going with that kendo stick, this match could be over real fast. What a headbutt. Vicious. An early pin attempt. And there's still plenty of fight left. Yeah, this early, no chance. A slap. Adding a level of insult with that kind of physicality. Oh, man. across the middle rope. Big down! Oof. And I can assure you that wasn't part of Zelina's usual cold and calculating strategy. Yeah, and you can see the intensity growing with Green. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. All right, she's back in, ready to go. Nice Japanese on drag. Oh no, they're getting, they're getting enough on me. Tossed around like a 
Oh, on the turf. I can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Delina with a plan. No. Shoulders down. That could have been it right there. Driving the elbow. She's starting to drag a little bit. Hanging tough as this match progresses. No easy task in a triple threat match. Mat slam. Oh, yeah. Good kick. Nothing fancy there. Oh, put down face first. And now she's getting back into the ring. Oh, Mat slam with some attitude. Oh, just using the steel chair to weaken their opponent. Chelsea looking evasive, and the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Dominating shoulder tackle. Zelina clearly wants a fight here. Stifled in this one. Chelsea now just trying to survive. Counters with an attack on Zelina. Look at this. DDT. Oh. Ooh. Zelina being sized up. Taking uh -oh. this to the floor. She's getting something from under the ring. Grabbing a kendo stick. Any connection with flesh will definitely leave a rock. Oh, oh hang man, she covers oh. for the pin. She fights her shoulder up before one. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. She scores big with the counter. Unmitigated oh. demonstration of power. Just oh. But I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. No. And she's wasting no time kicking things up by bringing this chair into play. Oh. Don't pick my pick, pick up. Back elbow blows that one. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Boom. Nice Russian leg sweep and the the stretch is applied. Oh, oh, look at that. What is she going to do here? Is she going to tap out? No. Able to slip underneath and deliver some blows, creating the break. Oh, tossing chairs like it's hardcore heaven. Caught with the Larry. Oh. Mm -hmm. Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. And this match will head back to the ring. She's taking this. Oh. Come on, come and get back she in the ring. The the you got a Kindle stick waiting for you. Chelsea Green laying down the gauntlet for their opponent. Windy and pump to triple threat match. Oh, now I just have to win. Running close line for the victory here. Oh, come on. Oh, Forces no. Oh. This is going to come down to who won the pack. Or a pump handle. Pump handle coming. Pump handle suplex. She's going for it. The referee clearly oh. noticed she was on the ropes. Fishing for something beneath the ring. Don't know if I should. Uh oh. I don't know what she's 
She has planned with that kendo stick. Dominating shoulder tackle. Kick to the midsection. Oh, this is so much fun to watch. Green is completely out of it. Two, three, yeah. Awesome. The impressive victory coming out on top against two very capable, very prepared competitors. I honestly think she just put the rest of the women's locker room on notice with this triple threat match. Mm. Let's see. Back to here. Okay, so you can at least pretend to have what it takes. Although maybe it was a one off. It wasn't a one off. I'm not pretending. Why are you here? I like watching people flounder. It's fun. And I'm not convinced. Who hurt you anyway? What? No, seriously? Who hurt you? Chaos is one thing, but my brutality has a message. Every time I step into the ring, I'm making a statement to the world that there are no limits to what I'll do to get what I want. So next time you step in the ring, consider what you're fighting for. What makes you angry enough to go all the way? Everyone else be damned. And who you're going after to make your point. Who I'm going after? For instance, do you want to challenge the toughest of the tough or pick someone who may be very talented but is also more innocent? That's what I'm talking about. Targeted brutality. I'm making a statement. I can out-brutalize the most vicious opponents. I'm demanding a match with Shayna Baszler. Demanding. I like it. And work on your gear. If you're gonna be associated with me, you'd better look the part. So, we're associated now? Shut up. Here she is, the formidable and unflappable Cap! The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from New York. The Superstar! The look of determination on Cap's face speaks volumes, Corey. This is a woman looking to climb all the way to the top of WWE. It's good to have goals, but we're just going to have to see if she has what it takes to make the climb. I have my doubts. Cap is here, and she's ready to fight. She's a feared MMA grappler who is always ready to fight. And from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. A menacing look in her eye. Michael, I think you mean terrifying? Baszler is ready to subdue any and all opposition she encounters. Baszler just absolutely loves combat in any form. You say that like it's a bad thing. We don't care. Is it just me or does Shayna sometimes seem mean-spirited? 
They call that killer instinct, Saxton. And trust me, it's a good thing. The captain has been a force to be reckoned with as of late. I like it, Cole. She's mean, she's focused, and she doesn't care who's in her way. Well, she should care. She's across the ring to one of the baddest competitors in the WWE. She saw that one coming. A spear! Arm ringer applied. Down for a European arm breaker. Sight set on the top rope. Taking flight. Look out below. No matter who you are, when you crash on the floor, a searing pain races through your body. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Was ready for that. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal four. Hey, we're all getting free tickets to the gun show. Kick to the back. And Shayna experiencing a bit more fight there than she may have expected coming into this match. Count out imminent. She needs to get back in. Ooh, man. So take things into the ring. Scooped up. What are we looking for here? A fallaway slam. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal forearm. Kick to the back. She powers out immediately there. She's still in this one. What is manhandling their opponent? Baszler being dismantled. Tough night so far for Shayna Baszler. She heads out, but this one can be lost by countout. Stop after stop. Relentless. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. chance to block any of those. Got to find a way back into the ring now. Before the count runs out. Neck breaker. She anticipated that one. Technique on display against Baszler. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Stops the kick. Dodges out of the way. Oh. Big punch finds its mark. Uh-oh. Taking it to the floor. One, 
what's she gonna do? And Baszler escapes. Well scattered reversal there. What are they gonna do here? Oh, look at the power. Look at the strength. Big time power bomb. Hazardous situation for Shayna. Taking this outside. This could be good. Caught with a punch. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. Taken down with a chop block. And it's done. All right, pump handle, pump handle coming. Pump handle suplex. Baszler isn't gonna like what's about to come her way. Kick to the gut. Lifted way up, round and around and done. Going for the pin on Shano. Wait, what's she doing? Looks like Cap decided she still had a point to make in this match. To the corner now. This is brutal. I guess that was the three count she really wanted. I know we've been seeing a different side of her lately, but I can't believe she would go this far. And she's not done yet. Seems like she's looking for a weapon. But she already had this match won. A steel chair? What's gotten into her? Hey, look out! A show of force for sure, but not like this. Is she having second thoughts, maybe? Looks like it. Nope, never mind. Well, this match is over, but not the way we expected. Shayna may be the winner, but she's not the one walking out of here having made a statement. But why? I have a feeling we'll be hearing more from her soon, Saxton. I hope so, because I don't get it. Lately, I've been doing some thinking about the pecking order around here, in the locker room, and in the precious WWE universe. It's no secret that I haven't been the model WWE superstar the past couple of weeks. I haven't smiled, posed for the fans, or put up with any of the nonsense the suits around here are trying to get us to do. No, because something's felt off. And earlier tonight, when I had Shayna Baszler in my hands and slammed her head again and again and again into that turnbuckle, when I heard the sound her body made when I let it drop limp on the mat before I grabbed the steel chair, I finally realized what's been making me so angry. Every time I go to the ring, I'm asked to put my body on the line and pledge allegiance to WWE management and a WWE machine that couldn't care less about me. To a board guided by profit and not people who ask everything of us and then discard us like used candy wrappers when we don't act like they're chimpanzees and obey their every passing whim. Like I said, I've been doing some thinking. And I'm not only done following blindly, I'm gonna do everything in my power to tear apart the system by destroying every superstar on the roster who gets in my way. Man. That was some performance. You were right. And I meant what I said. The more I gave into my anger in the ring, the more I pushed away the excuses I was making for the people in charge around here. Sure. Whatever. I still don't believe you. Are you trying to get on my bad side? 
if you even have one. I'm just not terribly impressed. You may have chosen your opponents and found your anger, but so far, they've all been random. You know what they say, the best tasting livestock are the ones that you've named. I'm not taking this from you, Rhea. I don't care what you think. But you wanna see brutality? Come with me to NXT. Cause you know what? Despite what you say, you're here talking to me again. I think you want in. Whatever. We'll see how you do at NXT. NXT, NXT, NXT. An elite college athlete makes her WWE debut. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, Carly Prime. Prime has her work cut out for her tonight. Damn right she does. She doesn't even know who she's facing. No scouting report to rely on, just pure adrenaline, skill, and a little bit of luck. Carly Prime looks primed for her WWE debut. Here's the captain, accompanied to the ring by Rhea Ripley. And from New York, a superstar! Carly Prime might be a former D1 athlete, but is she ready for the sheer violence of the cap with Rhea Ripley in her ear? Let me answer that for you, Cole. No. Hmm. A different instance here. Carly Prime might be in over her head tonight, fellas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Carly Prime is an All-American college athlete with lots of hyper. Carly Prime, Carly Prime, Carly Prime, Carly Prime, Carly Prime, I don't know why I'm talking like me. Good luck, Carly. You're gonna need it. Of course, if anyone watching happens to enjoy the stream at any point, Feel free to drop us a like and a subscribe to never miss another upload or video just like this. Uh, toss and turn the exposed steel. Exposed steel. Looking for something, anything under the ring. I have a feeling she has bad intentions for that chair. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. Damn, uh, right across the larynx. Well. Saw that one coming. Carly telling her Good for me, to bring okay. it. Dropkick finds the spot. Mm. Reversal. Can she capitalize? Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal. Um. And targeting the leg there. Really just laying it in. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Kick to the back. We might be close to the end. I don't think she even knows where she is at this point. Hooking it up here. What's next? Oh, Playing possum. Playing possum. The referee's attention diverted here. They need to get their head in the game. 
She is shown. Kick to the midsection. Oh, this is so much fun to watch. Revolution's in and a spinning powerbomb. Lays on. One, two, yeah. So what she's doing here, but that was a decisive victory for the cap. It looks like we're getting a repeat of her last match. This Raw superstar doesn't seem content with just a win. Neither does Rhea Ripley. Is this the start of a larger partnership between these two? Cap, what are you doing? I've been worried. You're a lot of things. But this isn't the Cap I know. People look up to you. Psycho Sally? These two women go way back before either of them arrived in WWE. I look up to you. It sounds like Sally's pleas might be falling on deaf ears. I don't know about that, Byron. I guess you were right, Michael. There's hope for Cap after all. Or not, Psycho Sally just ate a clothesline from her so-called friend. And she's not stopping there. What's she telling Rhea to do? Well, in Cap's direction, Rhea just introduced steel stairs into the ring. This is never good. I agree. It's taking things way too far. Is she going to slam the steps down on the Psycho Sally? No, oh, come on. Don't do it. This is too much. And down on the Sally's back. This is heinous. Someone get Psycho Sally some medical attention. And this is all some sort of joke to Rhea Ripley? Apparently a very funny one, Saxton. Whoa, what just happened? I think we've determined the alpha of this relationship, Byron. Rhea stepping aside to let Cap call the shots? This is the beginning of something big here tonight. A new and brutal power dynamic. That's for sure.